what is going on my 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 gemini it is scorpion reds back at it again to give you the march reading for your sign yes indeed it is time to find out what's going on for march 2019 for the sign of gemini what's been going on gemini has everything been good my dears all right shout out to everyone that's been liking sharing and subscribing my videos thank you so much if this video resonates with you make sure to like share and subscribe okay if you would like a personal private reading with scorpion reds tarot you can do so by clicking the about tab there is a hyperlink <clears throat> Excuse me, at the bottom, you'll see a little blue link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me, and you can find that on the About page. If this video resonates, and if you want to give a love donation, you can do so. There's a PayPal link in the description. Let's get into the reading, you guys, all right? Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini. Thank you so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for giving us that deep breath to exhale and to inhale praise and blessings and just hope and just enjoyment of the present moment. Thank you so much for the freedom. Thank you so much for the insight. Thank you so much for the encouragement to move forward. Please give us blessings and, and, and um, insight for the month of March for the sign of Gemini. Thank you again for all the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Gemini guidance for the month of March. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know why I'm getting all tongue tied. All right, Gemini, let's get into this. All right. Thank you so much. Please give me some guidance for the sign of Gemini. Thank you so much. The witch at the end of the world and a point in end to a new beginning. So Gemini, seems like it's time to clean out some things and close some chapters in your life. It's time for growth. It's time for, you know, change. All right. It's time to stop holding on to things that we know no longer resonates with the growth of our life. It's time for certain things to end. It is time. You see, she holds that time little thing it is time for certain things to die out and end all right so let's read and see what this says all right so it says storms fly about her electrical whips crack through the heavy air with their bites of fire she sits among them, hugging her hourglass, holding everything together until the forces that are creating change has done its work. When the witch at the end of the world makes an appearance in the spread or divination castings, you will know that something's time has come. There can be no more delay for the change has begun. So the best thing for you to do now is prepare for this change. Find solution to challenges that will come up when this change comes. You will be fine, by the way, and all will be well. But there will be time of seeming chaos. All right. It will be time for seeming chaos and difficulty. If you are prepared and ready to let go of this change and let something in, the witch's countdown will not affect you as it will affect others who refuse to acknowledge the changes that are coming and become fearful of the inevitable approach. There is nothing to fear but plenty to prepare for. You will be safe and all is well and very ready to embrace a new world. The wicked witch, I said the wicked witch, the witch at the end of the world speaks. She's saying, I am not wicked. But I am a witch and changes are made when world blends and shifts. I hold this hourglass up to show you now that it's time for ending and, it, and change is upon us. You can see the signs all about you. The strange weather, hurricanes, cyclones, the earth is changing all about us. But so many simply say I am wicked for showing you this. They blame me for what they call catastro um, catastrophes. And they ignore the signs. They are with you. 
and it is time to be ready. We are all about to experience a huge change and it will be for the better. But while we hold on to the old, the storms will blast us. The land will shift. Self-healing will look like destruction. Listen, you guys. So there is seeming chaos going on in your energy right now, you guys. And she's just saying, she's, she's showing you signs that it's time for something to change. Now, if you want to hold on to things that are about to be removed out of your life, regardless if you like it or not, you're going to make this transition harder than it needs to be. But if you don't ignore the signs and you can recognize that it's time for something to be up and that you need to let something go, then things can go smoothly. It's not going to go without bumps and bruises, but it ain't got to be with you being in the IC unit. Okay? <laughs> All right? The true message Experience an important end and significant rearrangement of life on a personal or global level, affecting your power source, system, relationship, changes in law, legal systems, and the economy, and values and belief are on the horizons. There may be a need and enable to live more simply and more harmoniously with nature. There is nothing to be frightened of, only a voyage to whether you will make it through to the other side of the storm. The changes are a part of our journey to the fifth dimensional world, of the shift to a more peaceful planet where shadows and light and love are accepted. All is well, and the little witch will keep this world safe until we reach the other side. All is well, all is well, and all is well. So, it's time for certain things to die. Certain things is the time is up and it's time to move on. Let's get a little deeper insight into... Thank you so much. Please give me some deeper insight for the witch at the end of the world for Gemini for the month of March. Thank you so much. Ooh. All right now. All right now. That's the will of fortune, but it's in reverse. You having to face up your demons before this can turn around. And that Sphinx got her hand on the wheel. It's like, no, before this can move forward, we got to deal with certain things here. And certain things that we need to address and we need to deal with. Please give me guidance for the sun in Gemini. It's something about this relationship that you're in. a relationship that you're in right now um I feel like when you got into it yeah it's, yeah come through I think I need you here mm -hmm. alright so listen y'all so this is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. You're having to face certain demons, certain, you're having to face certain demons, certain addictions, certain attachments that you are not trying to let go. And that is why this Wheel of Fortune is being halted by the Sphinx and she's making you face your demons. And it's certain things that you need to clean up and address and let go and realize that you cannot carry this forward into this new beginning. If you really want things to change, if you want this chaos and all of this, you know, drama that's going on in your life right now, you are going to have to release this. Okay? Or you're going to stay right there. And she's going to keep her hand on that wheel and that wheel is going to stay exactly where you're at. It's you. You have to decide if you're ready to face certain things that you are allowing in your life. It's certain things that you need to let go. One of them is you and one of them is something else. 
and someone else or something else that you have in your atmosphere. And I believe it has something to do with this relationship here. Okay. It looks like the sun is setting on the enjoyment of a relationship. You know, I feel like right now, seemingly to the world, it seems like everything is cool. But I feel like behind, you know, behind you, it looks like the sun is setting on a relationship. And I feel like it might be something that is creating a stagnation in your life because someone in this relationship here um, is paying attention and just now getting the fact that these cups are spilled and it looks like there's a crab in this situation might be a cancer in your atmosphere here um, I feel like this crap is like not emotionally available and you can see it the cups are spilled and it's crawling away and it feels like it, it looks like it's crawling back into the sea and you're finally paying attention it feels like you're finally sobering up it's like yeah we were having fun and everything like that yeah we were having fun like that but i i'm, I'm finally paying attention to why there's this stagnation why there's no growth in my life like what's going on and this this chaos started with you this chaos started with this relationship and you're in a place of confusion because it's like this crap here one minute you feel like everything is good and one minute you you don't know if this person is coming or going. One minute this person got their wall up and one minute this person is loving you and it's just, it's so confusing. And I feel like someone in this relationship has a lot of options. And I, and, I, and I feel like Gemini is paying attention to the fact that maybe this crab is crawling away to these various options here. And this person is confused. Maybe that why that's why this person is so back and forth, so in and out. You look over there lost and lonely and confused and stuff. You look confused. This person looks confused. But this person seems glamoured by these options over here. It seems like they praise having options. And this person doesn't seem very happy in this scenario. They seem lonely. And... It seems like a transfer of energy, almost. Like, maybe in the past, whoever this person is right here was disinterested and bored. And that's why they're crawling away. And now you're finally paying attention to what's going on. You're finally paying attention to what's going on. This person is confused because they have many options. The sun is set in this relationship that is, you know, caused the stagnation in your world. Okay? Has caused stagnation in your world and has stopped your good fortune from coming into your life. You're finally paying attention to what's going on. You're finally paying attention to the emotions. All of the cups are spilled over and have been emptied. It's too much confusion. Someone is glorifying options here. It's the end. There is nothing more in this cups. The relationship. This relationship. Has been all spilled out. All of the cups have been empty. And returned back to sea. But what you got to understand. The universe. And the moon and the stars. And the skies. And the galaxies. And the Lord. And everyone in the. That's been praying over you. And been watching over you. They want you to experience a true blossoming love. They want you to experience true love. Something, look how beautiful that is. You see that blossom? That is the Lake of Aphrodite. But that's up in the sky. That's for you if you believe. If you're willing to do the work. If you're willing to change. If you're willing to move these things out of your life. This is a completion. This is a Ten of Cups. This is like a divorce so i don't know some of you might be going through divorce but just know 
in the heavens something is cooking up for you that you do have a new beginning of love but you have to realize and recognize and stop trying to hold on to something that is merely a figment of your imagination do you understand what i'm saying everything is gone in this situation this is a completion this is a completion and it seems like you're turning your back on it you're cutting something and someone out of your life you are understanding it is time for the end of that world so that I can start a new beginning because you're not going to let one person in one relationship. It seemed like as quick as it came in was as quick as it came out. Because you guys were just skipping through to the other side of this celebration of this union and it's like the sun is already set doing it that fast. It's like, God damn, like for real. Like we was just having fun. Like this person switched up on me so fast. All of the happiness, all of the joy, the bountifulness, it's gone. Like what the, what happened? You know what I'm saying? And you just left looking, trying to figure out. <laughs> like I must have been high as shit. Like exactly. <laughs> like that's how you feel. Like I must have been high as shit. Like how the fuck? I didn't see. I feel like you guys feel trick bamboozled or something like that like this person I don't know it's like you just sitting there looking at this person slowly walking away from you because you know it's a crab crabs crabs move slowly slowly like doo, 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 doo. they slowly crawling away with their little bitch ass because they don't have no they don't know how to end things they don't know how to just be like look you know they not like a Scorpio I'm a you know I'm a water sign as well, but I'm a Scorpio. I, I, it's like every you in or you out. I don't, I don't do no middle ground stuff, y'all. I don't, I don't mm -mm. Crabs like to hang on to stuff that's dead. I don't think that you took the time to really get to know this person before you allowed this person in your life as deeply as you did. You thought that this was true love. You thought that this was true love. You didn't really know this person as well as you thought that you knew this person. Is there something turned on? No. Spirit. You thought that this was true love and that this could be the one. And you tried to give this situation a chance. Cause you truly do deserve love and I feel like you are a good person Gemini but this is something he's <sighs> retreat I just, I, I just had a feeling yeah you didn't take the time that you should have took to get to know this person I feel like you allowed this person you gave this person too much too soon you allowed this person to jump into your life too soon. You were just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, y'all was out there, like, tussy footing around. Like, y'all was out there having a good ass goddamn time. I feel like this relationship was founded on the wrong thing. It was really grounded on the wrong thing. You did not take the time to get to know this person. You did not really know this person's inner demons. And this person's inner demons came in and affected you. And stopped the progression of the good luck and the positivity and the blessings in your world. You didn't know what the hell you got yourself into. But maybe you did and you still decided to play anyway and got your ass burnt. You felt that this was true love. You felt that it was true love. You thought that could have been the one. And I feel like you've tried four times. There's four different things that's happened in this relationship in this short amount of times. Four different signs I feel like that you neglected to pay attention to. Because you were too focused on trying to make this work. Because even with this being the... Four of Wands, you know, in reverse, it's like, it still looks happy. It still looks happy. But on this one, 
they're skipping off into the sunlight. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're looking at what's behind them. They're skipping off into the sunlight into true happiness and abundance and illumination and prosperity. The sun is setting on this one. Regardless of how happy they look, you understand what I'm saying? This is not this. Because they're leaving the past behind and, and going into the future. Honey, that's something different. I don't give a fuck how happy you look, how happy you seem, whatever. But you do deserve love, though. You do deserve love. But you are not moving in this situation. You're not moving fast in this situation. And you know deep in your heart this is something that you need to get away from. You need to retreat from this person. But you are not moving fast enough. It's just like you are refusing to accept it and acknowledge it. And it's like, Abby, you do this very soon. You know you need to retreat. You mentally in your brain, you know that you need to cut this out. You know. And I do see that you are eventually going to do this. But if you don't do it, the universe is going to do it for you. And I don't think that you want them to do that. I do not think that you want them to do that, beloved. Let me give you some additional guidance and love. Please give Saturn Gemini guidance and love for March. Thank you so much. Please give the Saturn Gemini guidance and love. Thank you so much for March. So much, please for the sign of that guidance. And not the march. Can't come into big dreams. <laughs> in this situation you have big dreams in this relationship but I feel like this person has muted you out this person has muted you out but somehow you're trying to get around it you're trying to find a way around it and you really are finding it hard to come to a conclusion about this situation and why so much has changed and why this person is I feel like this person has walled you out mute and you're trying to figure out a way to get this person to open up to you again and to get this line of communication going and you just can't figure it out you can't come to this conclusion you can't figure out what you did what happened to this connection you just don't have a key to this you just don't know you have no idea what happened here you feel like you're stuck. You're stuck in a situation and you know that you need to get this old car gassed up and you need to get going and stuff. But I feel like you feel rusty. You feel tired. You feel like this is the last stop for you for whatever reason. Why do you feel like that? You jumped in your head so quick to believe that this is your soulmate. And I believe out of fear because I feel like this is like a deep rooted fear for this fear to be in the reverse. Like sometimes when cards are in the, when they're in the upright, they mean what they're mean in the upright, but in the reverse, that could mean sometimes it's like what it means in the upright to the 10th power. You see what I'm saying? Or, you know, or it can mean that they're trying to release a fear. But in this, I don't I don't, I don't see that. I feel I feel like you 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 have big dreams with this person. You have you you seen big dreams. I feel like you were more guided. You are more guided by your fantasies in this situation of what you thought the situation could have been. That's the moon behind it. 
You know, I feel like there's some secrets and there's some things going on in the background that you really don't know. And you're just being guided by your emotions right now. I feel like you're being guided by your emotions and your anxieties at this current moment. But in your in your heart and in your mind, you feel like this is your soulmate. And you really have like a deep-rooted fear of this situation not working. And you don't know why this person has muted you out. And you just wish this person would like take you off the block. Like even though you guys... You guys can even live with each other, but this person still has walled you out and you're trying to figure out a way to crawl over this wall. Like why we used to talk, we used to have so much fun because y'all did, y'all used to have so much fun. But so quickly the, 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 the sun set on it and you just, you can't figure it out. And you stuck. You feel stuck because you you love this person. You love this person. You feel like this is your soulmate so quickly. So quickly, you feel like this is your soulmate. And you just have this gut fear about the situation. Let's dig into, let's dig deeper. What is this fear about? What is this fear about? And why did this person wall Gemini out? What is this fear and what is this conclusion? What is this fear about? Medicating. Uh, ooh, vengeful. So I did <laughs> redo this reading because I had a little interruption early. Let me see if I could, because when I disconnect from readings, I really can't remember what they be about, but... Honey, oh gosh, what was that other reading about, honey? Because this, something in my gut is telling me that this is all connected. It, 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 I mean, clearly it's all connected. It's Gemini's reading. Because in the last reading, it wasn't vengeful. It was something else that, honey, it was like, oh, it was scorned. Like at the end of the reading, it was like Gemini feel scorned by this person that they're with. Oh, and, and what ended up coming out was the um the Knight of Cups in reverse. And the energy that I got was like when you met this person, this person was was a player or this person was seeing multiple people, you know, and you thought that when you got this person that this person would change for you. And they showed you, I am what I am. If you met me and I was talking to other people when, you know, you came into the picture, yeah, I eventually ended up choosing you. Could have been because I wanted to or it could have been by default. Because sometimes people, they think that they win because they ended up getting chose up. But if someone finds out that they're dealing with you and they opt out of the game, then really, did you really win? You know? So, however you won the situation. And I really wish I could remember all of the cards. And, and I didn't have to delete that. Because it would give you more insight. Because it, it really went into the meat and potatoes of that energy in that situation. But, um, this person feels scorned at the end. And for me to... See the big dreams and then the mute card. This mute it was like this person had you on mute and it was another card where the person had their lips sewn up. Like they're not talking to you or they're not expressing emotions to you. And it's like even if you guys live with each other, this person is still y'all barely talk to each other in the house. Y'all uh, y'all could be sitting right next to each other. Just watching TV for hours and y'all barely mutter or speak a word. Like y'all will be on y'all phone. Like this person is like walled you out. I feel like right now you are very negatively medicating. I feel like if you drink, that you've been drinking a lot. You've been drinking a lot. You are trying to like hold down this feeling of like really being vengeful. But I feel like deep in the pit of your stomach, like this is building up. 
this is building up especially like when I get the other cards out if that knight of cups again in reverse comes back that playboy card you know deep in the pit of your stomach you're feeling vengeful and you're negatively medicating you feel pitiful this is a one-sided situation it's a one-sided situation that you wish wasn't you wish that this wasn't a one-sided situation. And not only that, I think you might be in denial about the fact that this is a one-sided situation. But you really do feel pitiful. And you're trying to not be so fixated on this energy. Because I really do feel like there's a slight level of obsession with this person. Because you really want to not let this person go. But I feel like you have allowed this person to really embed their self in your mind. I feel like this person is, this person is, this is what this person does. Okay? This is what this person does. This is robotic energy from this, that this person does. This, this is what this person does to everybody. And that's why some people need to be careful what they ask for sometimes. But I feel like right now, in your energy in this relationship, it's robotic. Feel like y'all wake up, hey, what's going on? This, this, and that. You want breakfast? No. All right, go to work. Come home. Like this person, probably call you, be like, I'm about to go hang out with my boys a little bit. This person might come home like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Like y'all barely see each other and it's robotic. And I feel like you feel alone a lot. Like you feel alone a lot. Because if you look at this person, they look alone and lonely while they're watching the crab crawl away into the sea. So, what is this saying? There's, you're envious of something and you're trying not to be. There's so, you're, you're, you're envious about something and you're trying not to be in this, in this, in this digging in your, it's digging in you. Like, it's, it's building up. Like, this vengefulness and this enviness and you just kind of like being in denial about... <laughs> This being a one-sided relationship and what is this? Yeah, <laughs> and this is embarrassment. You're trying to block out the embarrassment like you're embarrassed. You're embarrassed deep inside like you're embarrassed. Like these are deep side, these are deep-seated emotions that you're holding in in this situation. And that's why this vengefulness is building up. This vengefulness is building up. You've been drinking too fucking much. Drinking and smoking or whatever the hell you're doing. Popping pills, whatever. You've been doing that shit too much to medicate yourself from the way that you've been feeling about this situation. Because this person ain't giving you shit. And you, that's the only way that you're dealing with this. Because you can't come to no conclusion over why this person has cut you out. Deep inside you feeling envious. Because you feel pitiful in this situation. And it's building up. Because you know that you... In a one-sided situation. But you don't want to believe it. And you're fixated on this love. Even though it's robotic. And it's, it's the same bullshit over and over and over and over and over again. And it's like. This person. Is just showing you the same shit over and over. And I feel like. You're deep inside. You're envious of whoever this person has been spending their time with. Like. I feel like even you might be envious of their friends. Like, I feel like their friends and other people, like, you see them communicate with other people so openly and give them all of this personality and stuff that you used to have from them. And it's just like, why am I not getting, like, you just, you just don't understand. You cannot come to the conclusion about this situation. And it's like, y'all embarrassed, but you're not trying to show that shit. And I feel like you guys have a lot of mutual people that know y'all together. And around these people, you're trying to not show your embarrassment about what's going on. And deep in your heart, you still feel like this is your soulmate, regardless of all of this deep-rooted shit that's going on. In the gut, in the shadows. Spirit, please clarify. You want to come out, come in from the bend, left out in the cold. The tired moment, you're trying to avoid the ending. 
this person <laughs> is walked away. This person is moving away from you, the chariot. They go to cancer again. Moving forward triumphantly. Mm. The Ten of Swords feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Mm, mm, mm. You ain't even see what you was walking into, honestly. This is an ending. You didn't even you, you you didn't even know what the hell you was walking into. But for for whatever reason, you still have some type of um material value here in this situation that you want to hold on to. You want to be you want to come in from out in the cold, and it don't look like there's nobody there. There's nobody there. I don't know. I don't see not a soul of it in the cheap. Sheep can't open a door. I don't know. I don't know. But the light burning inside is somebody in there, but they ain't paying no attention to you. You're going to have to come to your own conclusion. You're going to have to find your own way, and you need to find your value in your own self, my dear. Do you understand? You need to go and walk and find your own place. Stop looking for this person to let you in. You need to find somewhere else that you could put your own key in and that's your own home. And you can invite someone in that really deserves to be there. Stop begging to come. Stop begging. Stop. You trying to avoid this ending with this person. This is not something that you can avoid. This shit is going to happen regardless if you want it or not. And like I told you, if you are dealing with a cancer and I done seen cancer in here, I just a lot of cups. Cups, 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 cups. Cups, cups, cups. Crab. And then the church, that's cancer. So any of you guys that have been dealing with a cancer, stop trying to avoid this ending because you know a crab, they like to pinch and hold on to something with them little clincher things. Do you hear me? They have a hard time with letting shit go. They will let this shit linger and linger and they will suck you dry and they will take from you, take, keep taking from you. Why they doing what? You know what I'm saying? Don't let somebody take advantage of you when they really don't want to be there. If they don't want to be there, close that door and let them not be there. Don't be fooled by love thinking that somebody's that's your showmate that's not doing nothing but walling you out. And this is the ten of cups in reverse. This is the ten of swords in reverse. Like, come on. This is the, the uh, four of wands in reverse. This is the will of fortune in reverse. Come on. Stop trying to avoid this. Feel like you sent a word out to see what was going on. To see what this person was doing. You've been trying to figure out what this person was doing before you make the decision to really get up and make a move. You need to trust your own intuition. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I guess it's just me being an asshole if I'm a Scorpio. If I got to send the bird out to figure out what the fuck is going on. If I feel like I got to do that, nigga, I don't even want to fuck with you no more. Honestly, like, I, I, I'm I, not even about to do all of that. <laughs> I'm going to move forward triumphantly. And I'm going to get my, I'm going to pack my shit up and I'm going to keep going. Because I'm, I'm not going to let nobody play with my emotions. I got to keep my emotions intact. Do you feel what I'm saying? I got to keep my emotions intact. And I feel like this cancer that you're dealing with. They are emotionally together. They know what they want to emotionally give. And they are moving forward. This person is traveling. And like I told you. In this card right here. Which is another card that represents Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You see the crab getting in the sea. All of the cups are spilled over. These ten cups are spilled over. This is telling you the time is up. The will of fortune, this is stuck. You just in fear. This person's walled you out. What are you waiting for? Like, what type of messages are you waiting for? I don't get it. You you waiting for this person to leave you? That don't make no sense. Because you sitting around waiting for something like it's not coming. This is the end. Do you understand? This is the end. And I feel like you sitting there. See, this person don't even see what's coming. 
You see those, you see those people in the cut? You see them in the cut? You see him not paying attention, not realizing what you are. You didn't even realize what you walked into. In the other reading, the person thought that this person would change for them. They thought that it would be different. They thought because how fun and this person was smiling and all that. It felt real good in the beginning. This person does this with everybody. You ain't no different. You was no different. You was no different. You was no different. Give me some additional guidance in regards to life purpose for Gemini. Please give Gemini guidance for March. But you look like you look. look you said, look, this shit is... I'm retreating. I can't do this no more. I done made my fucking mind up. Like, I can't do this no more. I got to go. I got to go. Mm-mm. <laughs> Have you going to figure out that it's time for you to go? Or this shit going to end and you ain't going to see it coming. And it's something that you can't avoid. Again, like I told you. This is something that you ain't going to see coming. And it's something that you can't avoid. So stop trying to avoid it. And some of y'all know it's the, the the tower is coming down and you're trying to avoid it. And you're going to play around. And if you let the universe end it for you, oh, honey, it's going you going to wish you would have just walked away. I'm trying to tell you. I'm speaking from somebody that know. I'm speaking from somebody that know. Try to hold on to something. And I know deep inside this is not something that I should be dealing with. And I seen the signs and I seen the signs and I kept ignoring it and I kept ignoring it and I kept ignoring it. And God came and shut the whole thing down. And when he tore that tower down, he threw me out the damn window with it. And I had to start everything all over again. When I could have just walked away when God was sending me signs. But anyway, I feel like you guys are artists and you guys have... I feel like you guys have a lot of talent. I want to say I feel like you guys are a singer or you guys do like digital art. Or maybe that, you know, you guys are legitimately your artists. Like, you paint. But I feel like you need to get back into what creatively speaks to you and how you express yourself. You need to get back into your art. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every area in your life. I feel like if you get out there and start singing again... And if you start painting how you feel during this transition, get this person out of your life. Because like she said, storm's coming. If you prepare for this and get yourself together for this ending, it's coming regardless if you like it or not, you'll be good. But if you want to hold on to some bullshit, you might be drowned under the sea around with everything else that needed to sink. Get it together. You really don't have any trust in this situation. So why bother? Trust your feelings and dreams. And it says trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. This whole situation, I feel like, is blocking your intuition. You want to follow your heart and, and you want to do your singing. You want to do your cooking. You want to do your art. And I feel like some of you can draw really, really good. When you guys get your tax money, go get y'all them little canvas and your little... I know that stuff costs a lot of money. All them different paints and the brushes. and That costs them. But invest in your art. Invest in your talent. And put some more trust into it. And stop focusing on this shit. This has to end in order for this world to open for you. You have to put more energy in yourself, into your art, into your ability. And then this will of fortune won't turn around. I pray to God. I promise you i promise to god and practice on your art practice listen because right now you're unbalanced and that is going to get you back balanced do you understand you're not balanced and if you do not practice yoga or meditation or something like that i'm encouraging you to get into it because you're going to have a lot of time on your hands now that you know 
the time is up for certain things. You're going to have a lot more time in your hand. So I want you to focus on your art. I want you to put a little bit more trust in the changes that is happening to your life. I want you to practice on the things that make you feel good. The things that you're talented and gifted at. And I need you to get yourself centered back in the universe and get balanced. One more spread and then we getting the heck up out of here, honey. Because I done went back to making these hour long things. No, but I'm sorry. Because I done literally used... I don't know how many how many decks I just use on this reading. Like I done went overboard on y'all because I was being nosy. <laughs> I was being nosy in the last one because I was like, hold on, what's going on now? In the other one, steady progress. Something is blocking your steady progress. It's something. The time is up. It needs to change. Is this the entrepreneur? Yup. It's the same thing that came out and you not listening and noticing the signs. Thank you. That's exactly what came out in the last spread. Thank you. Because I don't be remembering when I disconnect from the energy. This situation is blocking your steady progress. Your will of fortune. Look, this Sphinx is trying to turn this around. And when you turn your will of fortune around, this is the magician. You, do you hear me? This is the magician standing over the wheel, allowing it to do what it wants to do and manifesting a new beginning. Do you feel me? The light is coming to the situation. You are having to face your demons. The wheel has stopped. You have to face certain things and make changes and in certain things in, a, in order for this progress to turn for that wheel of fortune to turn back around in your blessed favor. You have talent. You have talent that is being blocked. And if you focus on that, honey, you can have your own business. You can forget that 925 and you can work for yourself. You're not listening. You're not listening to the signs. You are not paying attention to the signs. You are in denial about your situation and you need to snap out of it because you are delaying the progress of the blessings coming into your life. Clean this shit up this March, you guys. I love you. This has been Scorpion Reds. If this video resonated with y'all, if y'all want to book a personal private reading, click that About tab, okay? Hit that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Zero at Simply Book Me. If this video resonated, you want to drop a dollar or two in the PayPal, go ahead and do so. Link is in the description. See you in the mid-months. Peace.